what a struggle to vlog in Iceland, oh my goodness. My only hope, of course, now is that I bump into Jon Snow somewhere. Nature is just so powerful. We are really like nothing, you know? We're so small. Hello, my beautiful friends. Oh my god, we're in freaking Iceland with my mom. <laughs> we just arrived after a long day of traveling actually. We flew with Iceland Air, it was a perfect flight and we just arrived at the Eya Hotel and they are apparently completely in harmony with nature. So apparently this is a new boutique hotel in Reykjavik. We're starting off in Reykjavik. We're gonna discover the natural wonders from tomorrow on. And apparently this hotel is completely based upon sustainability and ecology. I'm freaking tired of the travel, so vlogging. All in all, it just has a good story, but the room especially is very cute. Let me just quickly show you around a little bit. But now we're actually starving, so we're just gonna hit the town. Apparently we're downtown. We can't really feel it in here, but we're just gonna go outside, take a walk, and um, yeah, discover Reykjavik for a little bit. Whoa, such a crazy church. I've never seen anything like it. This is a concert hall. Awesome! Very cute little shopping street actually. Good atmosphere. And now we're gonna eat something at Glow, which is apparently perfect for vegetarians and vegans and everything. But don't you worry, it's not gonna be a food kind of vlog as in Stockholm, we're all about nature here. <laughs> you guys we woke up this morning and had a very nice breakfast at the hotel we can definitely recommend this hotel and now I actually want to show you guys what we're gonna do these days because it's now 11 o'clock and now it's actually light we don't have a whole lot of daylight these days uh, we're here in winter time of course so we only have like five to six hours of daylight so yeah let me show you yeah, Keflavik. Keflavik is the airport and then we drove yesterday to Reykjavik which is like an hour and now we woke up this morning there and then we drove all the way to Kerikerio. <laughs> so this is sort of the golden circle. It's very touristy. You can do it also with the tour bus. We rented a car and we're just gonna take our time to sort of do the golden circle in like two days. So we're gonna start out here. Waterfalls, big waterfalls. Yeah. And uh, a lot of volcanoes. A lot of natural wonders, yeah. all very nearby Reykjavik itself. And while I was actually just driving the car, I constantly had to think about Game of Thrones, you guys. My only hope, of course, now is that I bump into Jon Snow somewhere. weather but nothing can stop us of course the adventure continues we're now at the guys here 
This is already a little spoiler. It's so weird, right? It's so awesome. Oh my god, this is seriously the power of nature. Oh my god. Freaky! amazing oh my god so cool good morning you guys another day in iceland i stopped vlogging yesterday because the weather conditions were just so um, i really hope that you can hear me through the wind now my camera actually broke my camera so now filming for this one and um, yeah. well i don't know if you can hear me in the wind maybe like this oh my god what a struggle to vlog in iceland oh my goodness so yesterday it was just very grey and gloomy weather, but the rain was just unstoppable. We were intensely cold, we both fell. And now this morning I woke up and my camera just doesn't work somehow. So I'm now vlogging with my little camera. Um, we're now waking up at the Gulfoss waterfalls, which is amazing. And I'm just gonna show you around. <laughs> Er wel schattig uit. <laughs> oh my goodness, you guys, it's so cold. And for me, vlogging in very, very cold days is just a true challenge. Um, I somehow can't think straight, I guess. So I'm doing my best, but at the same time, I'm freezing my ass off. We decided to go back to Geysir. Um, we find it so extraordinary to see such a thing and uh, now we just have normal weather to actually explore and it's actually really kind of nice because we're so flexible these days we only book the accommodation every day like the day on itself so we're very flexible on where to go and uh, yeah that's why we came back today It's like every five minutes. Oh, is it? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> you can take your time. guys another day in the magnificent Iceland I am now at Seljalands Foss Foss is waterfall or at least fall I believe and I'm waking up here oh my god seriously every day is just like the most beautiful day ever I definitely want to do trips like these more I'm just blown away by all the beauty here Oh, 
What do you think of Iceland so far? <laughs> oh, yeah, it's a big adventure. Uh, it's a little cold. Like it, it's dark <laughs> yesterday uh, around. Uh, a big exposure here from the waterfalls and the geothermic uh, lagoons and pools. Bulls. So far. <laughs> Yeah, I'd have to agree with my mom. It's a big adventure. If you want to connect with nature again a bit more, this is your go-to country. I definitely want to do trips like these more often. Uh, I will definitely be more prepared next time around when it's so icy. <laughs> but all in all, uh, we've only seen a fraction of course by now. Uh, and I'm actually very curious about the rest of Iceland. And I actually think trips like these are very important to me because uh, when I connect with nature like this, it makes me feel so small and so unimportant basically um, Which is a good reminder about life and how the earth and nature works and nature is just so powerful We are really like nothing, you know, we're so small and when you see things like this Yeah uh, It makes you realize that but nature is, is very wide and flat and big and high it's very impressive it's very impressive and i was just telling that um for me personally when i do trips like these it makes me feel so small because yeah. nature is so big, big. Yes. <laughs> mm -hmm. um yeah it makes um, life and us very relative yes. and small i think that's also the case here in iceland that the extremeness of nature is just so vivid here you know the absolute opposite is so uh, you can feel it, you can see it in everything and it's just completely yin yang and it's life and death really ice and fire, life and death all the way so we're now at the next one and this one is called Skoga Foss Let's go on a little hike. Holy oh, shit. Let me see how my mom will respond to that. <laughs> it's very high. of Lord of the Rings or something. What the? It's my mom. <laughs> Last adventure of the day, I guess, while we still have daylight, but you can't really see anything. But let's just see if we can actually see the arch in the sea and the black beach. Awesome. Whoa. Whoa. Oh my god. You can't even put it on camera, but this is enormous. 